Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot and this is going to be a general zodiac reading for my water signs, that's Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. I want to welcome you all to my channel, all my new subscribers, I'm so grateful, it's a pleasure to have you guys here with me today. Uh, so yeah, this isn't going to resonate with everyone, take what does, leave what doesn't, it will be time stamped in the description box below. Alright, so we're going to start with Cancer, let's see, check your sun, moon and rising signs as well. So we're going to have a look over the next couple of weeks, what's coming up for Cancer. We've got nothing yet is set in stone. Okay. That's okay, Cancer. I don't know why I'm hearing you've made your bed so you've got to lie in it. Maybe that's how you feel right now. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, the Star, the King of Wands here. I definitely feel like already someone was quite cautious about the amount of time or attention or money even that they spend on you. That's why they kind of move a little bit slow. All right. It's like they're dependable in the sense that you know they're there and they want you, but they're still ooh and an ah in about how much time, money and energy they should kind of put into you. And then you've got someone else here who's literally rushing in, got so much things to say to you. I don't know if you've cut this person off, Cancer, and you feel, because I feel like this is someone else. I feel like you've cut this person off, but they see you as the star. I feel like this person really is attracted to you. I feel like anything, everything they want in a woman, a man, whatever, it is in you, okay? But they're very much, what's the word I'm looking for? They want to know about the bedroom, okay? They want to make it into your bedroom. <laughs> Again. Yeah, look, see, they come rushing in going, I love you. I do. I love you. But really and truly, they're just trying to sleep with you again. <clears throat> There's something about this person always feeling like they can sleep with you when they want. Yeah, but Ten of Wands, I feel like you're just fed up, you're done. Ten of Swords, you're like, no. I definitely feel like this person has betrayed you in the past. This could be recent past. Okay. So you're just kind of like, no, do you know what? I am a star. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't want nothing to do with you no more. I feel like you just took your, your star-like quality energy somewhere else. So now you've got this other masculine who feels as though they, um, you know, they're around you, they're investing, but not maybe as much as you would like. All right, they also have a lot of pride. I think that's what it is. And you're definitely having a new opportunity at work, contract, promotion, whatever it is. Yeah, I think for some of you as well, I wanna say this, Cancer, if you've been thinking about doing something, but you're like, oh, it's not gonna work anyway, like, what's the point? Da -da 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 -da. Don't do that. They're saying just do it. Do it with a good open heart, okay, that you are going to prosper and you are going to be successful, all right? Don't sell yourself short in that because it is there and it's yours to claim. Yeah, I think when it comes to work, maybe you have been keeping some things to yourself or you've just felt kind of stuck because you've had a lot of other things going on maybe in your personal life or especially with these relationships here. So you've kind of had to do a little time out. I think you guys have had a pause and it was more about not juggling anything anymore and just sitting and being with whatever it is that you're going through, whatever you're feeling. And then we come out with the death. So I think you are really done with this person. Whatever they did to you, you will never let them back in again. That's how I feel. That's what your guides are saying. Okay, and then this person, the, the one who's been showing you the time and attention, they do want to give you justice. All right, but I feel like they've got some things pending over their head. So it could be some legal stuff as well, kind of coming back to haunt them a little bit. So they're really going to start to focus on their money over the next couple of weeks. All right, so they might work a lot more. All right, Cancer. Yeah, I just think you've, you've definitely turned your back on someone. I think you always was excited and happy when they came around you, but now you just hope you never see them again. You know, you're just looking forward to your own happiness right now. But I feel like this person wants to pop up and, like I said, say some thanks. All right, Cancer.
Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, Sag, Scorpio, Aries, yeah. Yeah, see, someone's really worried about, it could be prison, you know, they're worried about, like I said, there's some legal things, I feel like your, your person might have to go up against the judge, but we've got great fortune here, so they should be okay, and then here you are, courthouse, occupation, got contracts coming, A new pathway opening up, unexpected income. Just let them come out. More toil and labor. That's it. I feel like you guys are just going to have two jobs, but it's a good thing. Something you never really thought of doing before, and the other thing is just growing. Yeah, and then distant horizons. Some of you might even need to travel for this new opportunity that's coming your way. And just be careful about this false person as well coming back into your life. But like I said, I feel like you're done. So I even think with this new person, you know, it's it's not set in stone, all right? They're just holding back because maybe you have had this drama with your ex and stuff. So they're like a bit more cautious about what they're gonna invest. Cancer. Listen to your intuition. That is what it's telling you. So over the next couple of weeks, your intuition is going to be on fire. They're, your spirit guides are begging you to listen to it. <clears throat> right, cancel. Ooh, let's get your final message. Oh, we got the fates. Who had that? I think I just did the earth signs. All right, 17. I think for you guys with this one, I'm gonna read the prosperity message for you. Your experiences concerning prosperity and abundance are beyond your personal control right now. You are being invi invited to accept what is unreservedly. This could be a temporary situation seemingly thrust upon you by outside forces, but there is an underlying purpose you can't see that has been determined by the fates. It could be a situation you are unprepared for and you may not understand how it will benefit you in the moment. Do not fight the situation, ride it out and see where it leads. Surrender to it and, and the serenity you need to make good choices from here on out will be given to you. You will indeed flourish. Nice. Get excited, Cancer. Well, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. You can also contact me for personal reading as well. But take care, Cancer, and I'll see you soon. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Pisces. All right, Pisces, this is your general reading over the next couple of weeks. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. All right, Pisces, we've got luck is on your side. So that's good. And that's a new moon in Sagittarius. Flick hair. It's a little fluffy thing. Here we go. Care back. Okay, so let's see, Pisces. Luck is on your side. You're like, yes, about time. Got Queen of Cups, the Fool, Two of Wands, Justice, King of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups. Is that the Queen of Wands and the Empress? No, it wasn't. Page of Wands, Empress, Six of Wands, Six of Cups. Woo. Okay, Pisces. Yeah, you definitely have a new start 
Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, yes. And it just feels like it's very public. Whatever's going on, look, justice on top of that. It just feels like this person really wants to have this new start with you. And I kind of feel like they're going to make it known that you're mine now. You know, like we're doing this together. You know, I'm not seeing anyone else. I only want to be with you. I only want to see you, that kind of thing. I do feel like this person's making a choice. I feel like there's someone from their past they're finally saying goodbye to, which now kind of frees up their heart space for you, Pisces. Yes, lovers. And I definitely think you guys might have been caught with somebody, not caught with somebody, sorry. Some of you could have been seeing somebody at work, but I feel like this is more, whoever you were dealing with in the past had somebody else. I don't know if this person just likes to act single or they are going to be single soon. Yeah, they, I feel like they're going into some type of separation. All right. So if you're dealing with someone who's married or with somebody else, something's going on. And it's like they're going into this. There's a, divi a division with the kids, I think. Something's going down. Yeah. Three of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. I definitely feel like karma is coming to get this ex of yours over the next couple of weeks. I definitely feel like they hurt your pride. There's something they did to you that you, you're you struggling to kind of get over, but you're saying there's no point now, I need to move on. You've got someone else here who you were seeing, like I said, possibly that Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, who are definitely gonna become more emotionally available to you, okay? They wanna set up a home with you. They're just more, way more serious, Pisces. I feel like you're going to be happy. This communication is coming in over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. I think your fear is that you're going to give too much and this person's going to juggle you. But that really isn't the case. I kind of think that person was doing that in the beginning anyway. <laughs> and they've realized actually you're the best thing that they've got around them. So they kind of let the other things go. Especially that one from their past that I was talking about earlier. But again, Pisces, they're saying use your intuition. All right, there's definitely a secret coming out as well soon. Oof. Yeah, so I definitely feel like there's information that's going to be brought to you about your ex. And it's going to be a bit shocking and it might make you feel a little bit sad, but it doesn't matter because you've already walked away from this person. I feel like they've tried to keep you stuck in a hangman position, but they've gone and done it to themselves. So I definitely think over the next few weeks, you're going to be looking to take a break, like a pause from everything. All right, just so that you can get yourself together, realign yourself. It's like the world don't stop when your, your heart is broken, you know, or you've been betrayed or you just kind of have to keep getting on with it. But I don't know. I think this time it's going to be, I definitely feel like it's, it's, a, it's a reset for you. We got Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag. I had some on the top. Yeah, got that Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Right, Pisces. Yeah, see, I kind of feel like you guys are just dealing with somebody who's married. That was the first card to come out, marriage. But look at that with your work, with your occupation, you've got great fortune. They just want you to take care of your health, make sure you're resting enough, sleeping enough, Pisces, okay? Because I feel like you guys have been up at night or you've had a lot of broken sleep lately. Yes, but we got high honor and official. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person really wants to make it official with you soon. All right. Yes, a new pathway is opening up for them. And a new pathway here is opening up for you. Some of you might even end up moving sooner than you think. Okay, some of you are like, I don't want to move, but some of you might have to move soon. Or for some of you, your person might move in with you. <laughs> You're like, no.
big happy changes. <laughs> it's going to be good. All right, Pisces. We have blessed. Yes, you are. Too blessed to be stressed. Okay, 22. Something wonderful that is unearned, an unexpected grace that is unforeseen, a gift from spirit. Which one? I'm going to read your relationship. You are moving towards a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to take, make this connection. This union, blessed by the divine, will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that, even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And now I'm going to move on to my lovely Scorpios. So welcome, Scorpio. This reading is not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rise, and Venus signs, please. And we're going to see what's coming up for you over the next two weeks. Okay. We've got a time to give rather than take. That's a new moon in Virgo. And it's time to release negativity. Someone else just had, I swear, guys, watch the earth sign. They had the exact same cards come out. I don't know who that was. I don't know if it was like Taurus or Virgo had these. <laughs> like literally exactly the same. All right, Scorpio. That's why I ch say check your sun, moon, and rising signs, guys. Yeah, we're not just made up of one zodiac sign. All right. So we have Scorpio. Let's get you out of the way. Okay. All right. So Scorpio. I'm going. Yeah, I, I just, oh. I think you went through a really difficult time. I think you were sharing your person with somebody else, okay? So I think you or even the other person knew about it anyway. I feel like there was a new opportunity for love that came into your life. And yes, you got justice. And I just think you were done sort of being lied to I don't know, I definitely feel like this person kind of stabbed you in the back, but this is like a connection that you guys really struggle to get over. It's like you feel, you feel it in your soul. But yeah, we've got someone else here who's just like in your life saying, I choose you. Yeah, and they're like, you need to take a leap of faith because I think they feel like you're worrying more about the past, what's happened in the past, and you're not living in the present right now. So I think there's some self-work that you got to do. All right, and I think it's just to release the pain that you've been carrying around from that last person. It's almost like they were trying to have you in some sister wife situation. Yeah, because I think your person just likes being in and out. They just kind of like being a player, socializing with lots of women. I feel like this person had all female friends, you know, one of them ones. Oh, there's my friend. Yeah, we've got a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. He's definitely been going through some type of pain. I feel like someone went back to somebody from their past and it didn't work out well. And now they have to like push their pride to the side and come to you. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of communication coming in. They're just taking their time though. They're watching. All right, I think they're trying to just find out more information on you, Scorpio, to be honest. Because I think there's a lot you keep hidden now about your life, like, Maybe because you had mutual friends or people that knew each other or whatever. So it's kind of like you want to keep your business to yourself. Because it's like you almost don't want them to know anything about you. But you have something new coming towards you. Yes, Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles, the Moon and a Page of Pentacles. So yeah, something's definitely going to be offered to you. I feel like there's trouble at work. So things are going to be a bit shaky or, or maybe it's not... Maybe it's not trouble at work, but maybe you work in a competitive environment or field. 
right? But there's something coming out of nowhere that is like literally going to put you on the map of where you work, okay? And it's especially if you're female and you work in a predominantly male environment, all right? The men at your workplace are going to be annoyed, all right? But I think what it, this could be is like an old contact you've had you know, or something just drops into your lap and this person only wants to deal with you and everyone else is like, what, what, why, oh. Because maybe they felt like they wanted to get rid of you. But you gonna be all right. You gonna be all right. Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Virgo, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, Leo, Sag, Aries, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn. I feel like you're hearing someone from the past saying they things have changed, things something's ended, they've had to move on from that, they want to get in touch with you, or they want to meet up with you somewhere, meet halfway, so maybe this person don't live near you like that, so you'd have to get a train somewhere or whatever, they just want to meet, they want to talk, they are going to come with a gift, and possibly a child for some of you lot, but yeah. <laughs> A new pathway is opening up for you. This is what I mean. I feel like there's some people at work that are just concerned about your progress or... I don't know. I don't know if it's that like they're concerned about your progress or they're just jealous or they're watching you or they're trying to steal from you in some type of way, but you get unexpected income here. Toil and labor. It's like you put that work in, you know? And I just think that they're jealous. You even work when you go home, okay? Yes, you sure do. But we got lovers, we got a um, wealthy man, we got great fortune, and we got courthouse here. So yeah, I feel like there's somebody that is, is a, a client of some kind, okay? High net worth client wants you to deal with them. People in your workplace don't like it. This could also be contractors, it, you know, whatever it is. However it resonates to you, right? within the next few months mm -hmm. it's gonna be all good there'll be a lot of shifts and changes i feel like people at work are gonna know who's boss we got message in a bottle Communication, a sign, the ancient name of a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. I'm gonna go to... Prosperity, you are on target with your purpose and your passion. You are coming into alignment with your destiny and spirit wants you to know that you're on the right track. Expect a call, a new opportunity or a message from an old friend or business contact. <laughs> Tell me something. That will lead you closer to your dreams and greatest desires. Spirit has been listening to you, okay? So don't you worry about it. You are going to be okay, all right? Relax. Try and enjoy this weekend we have coming up, all right? Because it's only going to get better for you from here, okay? Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much again for all your love and your kind words, your messages, commenting under the videos. It really means a lot. But yeah, I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>